Uh, it's been great. Um, you know, I, of course, I've missed being on the field with the guys and Coach House. Uh, you know, of course, being able to compete as well. Um, but it's been great to, you know, see, you know, the progress we've made over the summer. Personally, for me, it's been great to be out on that field and, you know, feel the benefits of the work we put in the summer. You know, I felt really great. You know, I felt a lot really conditioned. Um, you know, so it's been good. But uh, also excited to continue to build, you know, towards, you know, when it's time to play. Your position, um, oh, well, for me, it's no question. You know, I know the guys that I go to work with every day, um, you know, and I know the guys who are coaching us every day. Uh, you know, we got a great group. Um, you know, we're deep. You know, we got a lot of talent. Um, you know, but I, I feel like with our expectations being so high, you know, Coach House setting our expectations, you know, we're going to get the job done regardless. And so it, it's not really a question to me. You know, the only question is for me would be, you know, who's out there at this point? You know, who's on the field at this certain time or this certain time? Otherwise, you know, regardless, we're going to get the job done. Oh, we've been rotating. Everybody's been going with everybody. Hey, Mike, um, I know you're like, he's only halfway through the season last year, Kayshawn, you missed the spring, but... What makes him so special? I know he's got the number seven. What do you like about his game? When you see him going against him, what do you expect out of him? Yeah, man, uh, uh, easy question would be, what don't you like about his game? You know, he, he's a guy that can really do everything. You know, he can, you know, play in the slot, you know, be a mismatch on the safety. You put him outside, you know, in his trouble for a corner. You know, um, you know, does everything great, man. Great hands, great route runner, super fast. Um, you know, it's not really too many things you can say the guy doesn't do well. Yeah, um, you know, coming into when he came here, because I went to IMG with Noah, I thought he was just going to be more of a power back. Um, but I feel like he's really more of a balanced guy, man. He can move, he can run, you know, he got some moves too, man. And so, um, you know, kind of like a do-everything type of back, man. You know, super talented, uh, you know, hard worker, you know, he grinding out. I think he went like six, seven plays straight the other day. And I was here and I was like, boy, welcome to my life, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, super excited for him, man. He's gonna be, you know, have a hell of a year this year. Mike, can you talk about Harold Perkins? What's, what's, what's reasonable expectations for him, and what's the learning curve? Mm -hmm. You know, what Matt House is the linebackers. Whatever position he's gonna end up, how much has he got to know, mm -hmm. and how hard is that gonna be for him as a true freshman? Yeah. Um, when it comes to expectations, you know, I, I can't necessarily say. You know, it, it's so early. Um, I can't say he's super talented, you know, he's hungry to learn and he's a hard worker, um, you know, but on the mental side too, you know, I think about, you know, how it took time for me to pick, you know, our defense up, you know, and it took a spring, you know, and I kind of got things a little bit earlier, but I'm on my fifth year of college, you know, coming from high school, you know, to college, you know, that's, that's a, that's a tough change, you know, and that had me redshirt my freshman year of college, you know, and, um, he's for sure doing a lot better than I was, uh. But, you know, it's, uh, it's just something you got to work at, you know, and that, that goes for everybody in our group. You know, still, even myself, you know, every day, you know, there's things I'm picking up every day that I got to learn about. Um, so he's going to be fine. You know, he, he's a baller. You know, that's just who he is. You know, he's a, he's a freak athlete, and, uh, you know, he's been doing a good job doing his doing a good job of doing his job. Is it, is it harder for you guys as linebackers since the defensive corner is the linebackers coach? I wouldn't necessarily say harder. Um, now, the expectations are high. Things that you've got to know and, and do. Yeah, I, I would say just, you know, that's the way Coach House runs his defense. Um, you know, it, it's a really communication based defense, you know, and I know, like, especially coming from high school, I know you don't do nothing like that. Even a lot of my defenses throughout college, you know, you haven't had to talk as much as you had to talk now. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's just a different game. It's a, a whole nother level of, you know, knowledge that's required to, you know, play at a high level. And is there anything that y'all are doing that, like, if he says, this is, how much are y'all away from what he was doing in Kansas City? Like, is there like, are y'all like 25% of what they were doing? I'm not sure what all they do, but I know when we were installing things, you know, I did see a lot of Kansas City, you know, with our install. So, you know, all the stuff, you know, I've seen those guys run it. Um, you know, of course, Coach House has his own pass running stuff too. I've seen some Kentucky film of it too. Um, but yeah, a lot of this stuff is, you know, next level stuff, you know. So um, it's not being simplified. It doesn't have to be only so much of install because it's college. 
like I said, I don't know how much we've put in. You know, I don't think it's simplified. Okay. We got, you know, we got a, a pretty, pretty good amount of calls we can run. Um, you know, but at the same time, you know, who knows how much they had in their playbook, you know, in Kansas City. How much are you looking forward to having fun? I mean, you came here from Clemson playing that LSU team thinking, okay, that's what I'm going to do. And then last year was kind of rough and coaches fired and all that. I mean, how much are you looking forward to having a bounce back here and having some fun during this time? Yeah, man, um, super looking forward to it, super excited for it. You know, uh, it's my fifth year. Um, you know, so I've done a lot of college balls, and, and even last year was fun for me. You know, we had our ups and downs, but, you know, I enjoy the game. Um, but, you know, I've had a great time. You know, I'm super close with the guys now, and I was close with the guys last year too, but I feel like I'm even more close to these guys. Like I said, you know, some of these guys say every time they see me, you know, I'm always running my mouth, I don't shut up. You know, uh, so I'm comfortable with them, but uh, I'm excited to play with them. You know, we go through practice, and practice is always going to be a grind. We're always working, you know, hard the whole time. Um, so when the games come, it'll be easier. So I'm excited to be in that environment in the game with the guys, you know, just having a good time, playing some good football. Last year was last year, but certainly the team that played against Alabama and A&M and Arkansas offensively did not look like Kentucky, UCLA. You guys played a different defense down the stretch. Mm -hmm. Did they give you some confidence going into this year? What you, what you can do? Um, I mean, if you just look at the guys you have in our locker room, you know, you're going to get confidence. We got plenty of talent, uh, you know, so I, I've always had my confidence built up on that, you know, but one of the things that's really been building my confidence as well is just the way that we've been preparing and, you know, the way that we're going through practice. You know, um, like I said, man, I feel like when you expect so much, you know, on the daily, you know, that becomes your standard, you know, and our standard is, is you know, playing great football, you know, doing, knocking on all the things, running to the ball, you know, creating turnovers, tackling well, all those things are our standard. And so, uh, you know, I know those are all things, you know, I'm excited about because that's just who we are, you know, and who we're trying to develop, continue to develop and become throughout the rest of this camp. I'm not too worried about last year. Like, I know you saw it last year, but I do want to know what this year, like, is, what do you feel like the new regime is doing for the players mm -hmm. to just take them to the next level? Yeah, um, I mean, there's so much. Um, you know, I, and it, it really from which aspect you want to look at it. Uh, one thing that I really enjoy that, you know, we're doing now <clears throat> from a physical, like the way your body feels aspect after every practice, you know, guys are either going to have, you know, like 10, 15 minutes of stretching. Everybody's going to get in the ice tubs. Everybody's going to get in the ice box, you know, and that's just, you know, making sure the guys are, you know, ready to compete, you know, the next day, you know, we're not, um, you know, we're not beating each other up at practice. You know, guys are healthy. You know, we've had two really healthy days. And, uh, you know, like I've said, like our expectations on defense, you know, they are what they are. And so, um, you know, well, you put all those together, man, you know, I think those are all, you know, three things that, you know, that are really going to contribute to our success. Is it the details thing? Like, you feel like you're kind of locked in on the details more? Yeah. At, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say more. Everybody has to be, you know, locked into the detail. Or you can't, you know, be a college team at all. Um, but I would just say certain things, you know, are, you know, just locked in on certain little things are, you know, what's been the well, difference. Is it I mean, is it a different <coughs> program or is it like everybody's actually buying into what they're doing? So like there's even more commitment from the team, like recommitment? Yeah, uh, Matt Frakes, he, he's our nutritionist. I had nutritionist here. Um, I've never met anybody, I think, who loves their job more. Every plate I get in here, he's going to come look at it. You know, so I don't really have a choice to be about it or not. And I'm sure it's for everybody else. Uh, he does a great job. Uh, but, yeah, man, everybody's um, bought in, man. We've got a, a real hungry team, man. And I'm not just talking hungry because nutrition, but <laughs> hunger as in, you know, we want to succeed. Yeah, like last year sucked, right? Like, <laughs> I wouldn't say last year sucked. You know, things didn't go to, you know, some things didn't go the way we wanted. Um, but, you know, we, you know, focused on now and putting our best foot forward. Off the field, uh, you've now been here for over a year. Um, seeing you out of music venues, what, what have you absorbed most about Louisiana that you love about your time here so far? The food. There's the food, 100%. There's a lot of great things. There's a lot of great things. But when it just comes to just overall food in general, I don't know if I've ever been in a place with so many great options. Oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs>